What's going on guys? It's Jedi Joey with you guys today, and we gotta talk about Kang the Conqueror. So, you know, Marvel dropped Kang the Conqueror um, last year after the assault charges and abuse that was being thrown against him with his ex-girlfriend. And, you know, there's still some people that the jury is out on this verdict. Some people think that he didn't commit the crime. They think Marvel Studios and Hollywood are disrespecting him. Some people think that that, you know, what they're doing is, you know, injustice to him. And I'm not going to voice my opinion on the matter. I know that everyone else has their own opinion, and that's cool. I've already come to the point that, like, look, I like Jonathan Majors, but it's time to move on. We need to think of the future of the MCU and what that looks like. And one of my biggest problems with Ant-Man I had was we learned in Spider-Man No Way Home and Loki that variants can't always look the same as their previous respected actor. And so in Ant-Man, when they made all the Kangs look like Jonathan Majors, I knew that was going to be an obstacle, especially when they got rid of him, because it's like, well, how are they going to CGI this out? But it seems like they got a good plan, so we'll talk about the smaller piece first. Now, their plan is they're going to have, they're going to do the Council of Kangs again moving forward, but the Council of Kangs is going to actually be played by a vers versatility of different actors. And we do have a list of actors that are going to potentially play these characters, but we're not going to go over them because I don't know really who they are that much. We're just, and, it's, and this is only a rumor that we're reading about. But it seems like this rumor is pretty has pretty good sources behind it, and I think it's pretty likely to happen. What, so what I will say is we're going to get different actors for the variants of Ken. But I think the biggest piece is Yes, it's cool that we're going to see the Kangs being, the Kang variants being played by different actors. But the thing that Marvel has finally said, which I applaud them for, is we've been talking about how after X-Men 97, I've felt a lot more sunny side up on the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm feeling a lot more happy. And one of the reasons I'm a lot more happy is that they've been making the right decisions. And one of those decisions they made is in Quantumania, one of the problems I had was that Kang was, um, you know, it, w we thought that Kang was beaten by Ant-Man. When I said that instead of the Beyonder theory, there's going to be all these Kang variants on the Council of Kang, the Rumor Tut, all the different generations from all the different points in time, and then we're going to have a Prime Kang. And Prime Kang is going to be played by a big budget Hollywood actor. So it's going to be someone pretty big. Now, what we can say, well, we can't say much about who the Kang variants are going to be played by. What we can say for sure is our Kang is going to be played by one of two actors, I believe. And possibly a third actor. And let's talk about these possible three. So this article says two. But I have a feeling that there's a third option. So, option, option... Uh, number one is Colin D'Amico has been rumored and wants to play Kang has been in in the running for a while and a lot of people are, are, are pulling for this guy they think he'd do a good job I don't know too much about the actor he seems like he's a pretty good actor he seems like he'd fit the bill I looked at some voice clips of his voice and audio and stuff and I think he'd be pretty decent but I think we should be playing the much riskier game that Marvel should play and and I think that should be said now and I want to say this because I think this is wild, and I don't know if they've considered this, because, you know, I don't know how accurate this rumor is. But I want to throw something out, not only an actor who should play, play him in Prime Kang, but explain why they should do it. So, Colin Domingo sounds interesting. I would rather see him as one of the variants. I don't want him as the Prime Kang, because I don't personally know enough about this guy. Another actor I'm going to throw out there is that we could see um, Gene Carlos Esposito, who played Moff Gideon and Gus, and, of course... Um, and of course, uh, Stan from uh, from the boys. But here's here's the thing, right? You know, Gene Car Carlos Zito. As Zito is trying to convince us that he's going to be in a role, and then he's going to be in a show. We don't know of anything to do with Kang in a show, so I'm going to say that Kang's out on this one. You know, the jury's out on him; he's out. But here's what I will say: it does. I love that, I think that the perfect candidate for Kang 
is John David Washington. And there's two ways they can do this. Now, either John David Washington plays the lieutenant variant, and then they bring in Denzel Washington, the motherfucking equalizer, and he's Prime Kang. Because could you imagine the Avengers in Secret Wars with all with all our favorite characters, Iron Man being back as a variant, Black Widow being back as a variant, our main heroes. These are A-list actors. Who's a bigger name that these A-list actors could go up against than Denzel Washington? Like, give me a bigger name. I dare you. Like, that. that is a huge name. And it would be incredible. But if there's no rumors of him. There's nothing confirmed by him being cast. But I like the idea of a father-son dynamic. But if we can't have the father-son dynamic, then just give me John David Washington. Just give me one of the Washingtons in the role of Kang. Look, this Colin Domingo dude sounds like he'd be cool. I'm sure he's got an intimidating voice. But I'm not just looking for voice for Kang. I want a threatening and intimidating force. And I'll tell you this. If you want, to look, want evidence of why John David Washington should be Kang, watch Tenet. That's all you need to see. I, I originally wanted this guy for Black Panther and the MCU when they were going to potentially recast the Troll, which they chose to not do. And I still think that the jury's not out on that, and I have a Black Panther video if you haven't checked it out. You should check it out where I think that that could still be the case and could still happen. But if that's not going to be the case, now a lot of people... Now here's the thing I, I think that also needs to be said, okay? John David Washington is an incredible actor. And here's the thing about him. There are two franchises right now that are trying to get themselves off the ground again after their miserable failures. Marvel is trying to continue the universe they have and then rebuild it. DC's trying to rebuild from the ground up. We know that there's been wild reports of the Lantern series that DC's doing, and Lanterns is sounding like a very promising show, based on what James Gunn has said, and that there's going to be an A-list actor cast as Jon Stewart in that show. Now here's the thing. I will tell you this right now. If I'm James Gunn, and James Gunn and Kevin Feige talk, right? I don't know how famous Colin Domingo is. I don't know like what the connection is to him. If someone, finds, someone knows what shows and movies he's been in, Please let me know in the comments below, because I'm not a big, I'm, I'm not very aware of him, but I've seen people talk about him in reports. But with, with John David Washington, Denzel Washington's son, oh, I'm very familiar with him. And what I will tell you is, from this ground up situation, he is A-list talent. High budget, A-list talent. And if, if Marvel chooses this Colin Domingo person, over John David Washington, Marvel will make a big mistake. Because here's the thing, if they don't choose John David Washington, you know who is going to choose John David Washington? DC. Because James Gunn and Kevin Feige talk. So, James Gunn is going to be like, Kevin Feige is going to be like, yeah, you know, we just got done casting Kang, it's going to be this big thing we're working on. And, oh, yeah, oh, did you get that John David Washington guy? I heard he's pretty good. No, um, we got this Colin Domingo guy, I'm really, I'm really confident, I think he's our guy. And then James Gunn's going to be like, oh, you didn't take Denzel Washington's son to play one of your your most important villains in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Well, can I have him? Like, like that. that's going to be the conversation. He's going to, you know, it's like, imagine, the, imagine Marvel and DC are playing baseball, right? Marvel's got some home runs. They, 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 they took it out. It's, it's working good for them. Hey, bad about a swing. Swing this one. Swing that one. But then, here's the thing. You're going to the home plate. James Gunn's going to run that fucking thing to the home plate and say, slide into first base because look at me. I just got my Green Lantern and I got an actor that Marvel just underestimated. Like, it's like Anakin Skywalker says in Revenge of the Sith. You underestimate my power. You underestimate the power of James Gunn and Kevin Feige's friendship. Like, they, they both... They both are friends, but that doesn't mean that that if there's an opportunity, an act, a, a director or an, a, one CEO to another wouldn't steal from each other if it meant bettering their universe. Like, if someone passes up on this on this actor, the other one's gonna take it, cause like kind of like oh you know eh, you don't want him, but we want him. It works out. But my point being, I'm sorry I rambled, guys, but my point being is they should. What I think about this report. 
I think this is great news for Kang, and, I, and I've still been kind of mixed on how I feel about Marvel continuing to use Kang as the main villain, because I just don't know... Quantumania left a bad taste with Kang in my mouth, and I just don't know where, where they're going to go with this. But if they want to get someone like Denzel Washington, or even even Colin Domingo, or John David Washington, I think this would be a win. But I'm going to say this, okay, right now, until someone gives me some evidence, send me some clips, let me know, let me see more evidence of this Colin Domingo guy, because Kang is a big deal. I can't just have someone that I know sort of of be cast in this role, because Jonathan Majors was kind of a nobody, and 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 then he became known, and then he became an abuser, and you know, then he was the villain in um, Creed before he was an abuser, and then more people knew of him. But we know who John David Washington is, not just because it's legacy, it's the son, but he's got some big Hollywood roles, some big movies he starred in, and because of that. And, and I just think if you listen to his voice intent, you look at the work he does. I'm trying to put some clips of him in this uh, in this video. I I think John David Washington's the guy, man. I I really do. Okay, let me know what you guys think about this. I know there's gonna be a bunch of people that come like justice for Jonathan Majors. Look, look, the jury the jury's out on this. You can't have Jonathan Majors anymore. So you can have Colin Domingo. You can have John David Washington. You can have Denzel Washington. Hell. You could even have Esposito if he if he got capped for that role, but I think he's being saved for something else. But anyway, guys, what do you think of this long Marvel video? Who do you guys want to see? Do you want to see John David Washington? Do you want to see uh, Colin Domingo? What do you think about the idea of the variants being played by different actors? Let me know your thoughts, and this has been a Jedi Joey Kang update. Have a great day.